Hello my darlings, this is Mindy and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mindy Sydney. And you guys, it has been so long, so long, I know. So I decided to do a renovation video today. This is a small home in Willow Creek and um, yeah, I moved in a father-daughter duo. Um, and the story behind them is that um, the guy married his high school sweetheart, he, um, they got pregnant, had a baby, and he had to leave for the military. So while he was gone, his wife got sick and died, and he was relieved of his duties, and here we are. So him and his daughter decided to buy a new home, and this is the home that we're renovating. So I didn't, like, give myself a set amount of money to like like it wasn't like a ten thousand dollar renovation or whatever i just um renovated it where i was happy and i didn't want something really big it's only a two bedroom home um so yeah i have so many stories to tell you guys i well okay so first of all a couple weeks ago i started building this split level home and i'm so 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 proud of it um it's pretty much finished. I have to do the basement yet, but um, the original like building and furnishing the home is finished and I'm really proud of it. I'm excited to share that with you guys. I can't wait. Um, but however, when I was building it the first time, so, okay, listen, like, it was crazy. I almost gave up on this house because the first time I started building it, it turned out great, and I hadn't saved any of it. Well, then, all of a sudden, my computer shut down, and I got this blue screen, and I was like, what the heck? Like, what's going on? So, I just turned it back on and thought maybe it was a fluke, and <laughs> I went back to building again, like I started all over. And once again, it shut down like 10 minutes later, and I got another blue screen. So, I decided to Google it, and I read that I needed to update my BIOS, and I was like, what the heck is a BIOS? I have no clue what that is. Um, so again, I started like researching and I found out like I was reading and they said that if you don't know what you're doing, don't update it because you can basically kill your computer. Well, me being me, I was like, oh, it's good. I got it. So I found step-by-step -step instructions on how to update my BIOS and I followed them and it looked like everything was going really well. So, um, the, like, the computer restarted itself, and I went to go turn it back on, and it wouldn't turn on, and I was freaking out, I was like, oh my goodness, I literally just killed my computer, I was literally on the verge of tears, and I was like, okay, well, big breath, I'm just gonna try again, so I turned it on again, and it turned on, and I haven't had any issues since. So, my third time building this little house, and they've all basically had the same layout, so I feel like I've furnished it like three, three or four times. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I've got that video, and I just need to do a voiceover and edit it, and I will have that for you guys. I'm really excited to share that with everybody. I think, um, I think you're really going to like it. It turned out really well. Um, so yeah, after that whole fiasco, I actually went to Atlanta with... Um, my church group and we went to a conference and that was so much fun I had such a great time and then by the time I got back I was just so exhausted and I kind of like went through some stuff and I don't know it was like it was a little rough when I came back and um yeah like I mentioned before to you guys that there would be times that I I had to step back from playing The Sims and making videos, and this was like one of those times. So, um, I did play The Sims, actually. I played like a legacy family and kind of got bored of them after a while, but I did play The Sims um, during that time. I just didn't record anything. But I've also decided that I want to um, scrap like my Let's Plays. I think I got a little bit ambitious with all of the let's plays and like throwing a ton of characters out at you guys so i think i'm just gonna stick with one let's play and it might just be a um like a legacy let's play so that's kind of my plan but also seasons is coming out and i'm so excited for that i'm so excited because i read that we're gonna have thermostats 
thermostats in our house. Like all of our sim dads are going to be mad when the kids touch the, therm the thermostats. But I'm so excited because we've never had thermostats in the game before. And it just really like adds that little kick of realism to the game. So yeah, I can't wait for seasons. This is what I have been waiting for since the game came out because it was my favorite. Um, it was my favorite expansion on The Sims 3, and yeah, it just really adds depth to the game, so I'm really excited about that. So anyways, yeah, we got back from Atlanta, and it was just crazy. Like I started, I told you that I babysit for a living, and I started babysitting another child who's actually an infant, so I've been um, really, really busy, and um, then my daughter had like dance recitals and t-ball. She had dance like rehearsals, but every day. And I was driving like for, it was forty five minutes away, and I was driving like every day forty five minutes away for her rehearsals. Um, it was crazy, but the show was absolutely fantastic, and my daughter did great, and she can't wait for a dance next year. Um, and then also I'm teaching BBS Vacation Bible School this year at church. So I've had that. It's just, it's been crazy. I haven't really had much time to focus on the game. And um, yeah, I just, I haven't really done much. So that's my story. This is why I have been gone for a while. Huh. Well, I'm so glad to be back and I hope that I can start picking up putting out more videos, um, a lot. I thought about doing like a reaction video to, to, um, yeah, to seasons, but I decided against that just because I feel like there's a lot of reaction videos out there. We've all seen the trailer. Um, I didn't really jump on board quick enough to make a reaction, a reaction video, I guess, but I am really excited for that. I can't wait. Um, here you see me like placing this little cubby thing, and I love that thing that it came with um, the laundry day pack. And I really wanted it in the house, but then I realized that I forgot to put in a dining room table, like later on, like you see me, and I had to get rid of it. I thought about putting it in like the child's room, but yeah, I ended up just getting rid of it. Um, I tried not to clutter this house a whole bunch just because. I feel like I, I do that a lot, like I over clutter my houses and yeah, it can be a little overall, like I go overboard and I get telling myself like don't go overboard with this, don't go overboard with this and I, I think I went a little bit overboard, not too bad. Uh, I actually have a boho cottage that I made, I don't know, I, I don't know if I ever put a video out for that but I'll have to do like a tour video of it because it's a really amazing build. I'm really proud of it, but it's so cluttered, and it's so bright, and it's so mismatched, and yeah, I really liked it. So, yeah, this house, um, it ends up being just a two-bedroom house. I think it was a one-bedroom before, and I did not do a tour video of the before house, so I'm kind of kicking myself for that. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't do, like, a before thing. Um, Oh well, like I'll start doing that in my other renovations that I do. I thought about like maybe doing like a series where I just like renovate like Willow Creek. Um, I have most of Newcrest, like I have most of Newcrest put together. So I don't know, like I guess, you know, like I don't, I don't really need to do like a let's build Newcrest kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I am really excited about this house. I'm just so happy to be back and I'm so happy to be recording and it just felt really good when I finished this video. I actually finished it late last night and so by the time that I was able to upload it, it was way too late. Now I also want to apologize because I have a sore throat. Like I woke up with a sore throat and a headache today and it's been driving me absolutely insane. I'm trying to think if I have any like good stories to tell you guys. I don't know. I don't think I have any good stories to tell you guys. It's been crazy hot where we live. So we live in Ohio and um, it's not even technically summer yet and it's been crazy hot and my husband is a mailman and um, like I feel so bad for him but you guys it's so funny because my husband's like really really pale okay and he has <laughs> he wears his shoes and he wears his socks and he has this 
crazy tan line on his legs. So we always joke with him that when he takes his socks off, that he's still wearing socks because it literally goes from like tan to white. And I wish that like I could get that tan, but I'm a redhead with pale skin, so I don't really tan. Like basically just my freckles connected. That's that. Yeah. So. Oh, I also um, forgot to tell you, like, another thing that happened is um, we actually had a really dear friend of ours pass away, and that was, that was really hard. That was one of the, the really hard things that uh, when I got back from Atlanta with the church, and he actually attends our church, and um, yeah, it was, he has five kids, and um, yeah, it was, it was really rough. It, it's been you know, like, it was, it was really devastating, and, um, you know, we've been doing our best to help out what we can with his wife and his kids, um, yeah, I mean, he was so young, and it just, it wasn't, I don't want to say that it was expected, you know, I don't think it was really expected, but it wasn't, he was sick, so it wasn't like it wasn't expected, I guess. So, yeah, I don't mean to get all heavy on you guys, but, um, you know, like I said, it's just been absolutely insane. I, I mean, like, these past, this past month, I just feel like it's just been go, 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 and I really haven't had time to, like, sit down and, like, process anything completely. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And right now, I'm doing the kitchen, and I, like, I wanted to separate the kitchen, so, like, where I have that wall, and then I have, um like a half wall. I wanted to separate the kitchen, but I, I, I still wanted it to be open. So I decided to do that and I thought that it would um, keep it a little bit open, but still like give it that open feel, but still kind of section it off. Um, I really like it. I, I like doing that in some of my builds. Like that's probably not the <laughs> last time you're going to see that. And then I was trying to figure out what kind of tile to put in the back. And I didn't think that was my daughter. And I, the, the title that came with Parenthood, I see people using it a lot, but I never use it. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really go with anything. So I commend the people who use that, that the title because I just, I don't know. I just can't. I don't like it, I guess. It just looks weird to me. I don't know. Yeah. So um, the Sims in this video. Uh, the husband, I said, he was in the military, so he's, like, really strict, and the daughter, I mean, are, like, really creative and kind of, like, a free spirit, so, um, I just thought it would be fun that if, if somebody wanted to play them, um, uh, I will upload them to the gallery, by the way, and I'll upload this house as well, but I thought it'd be really fun if somebody wanted to play them, um, that they have those clashing personalities. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of, like, Bella on Twilight. And that's not necessarily what I was going for, but after I started making the dad, I realized I kind of like the dad on Twilight. So I was like, well, you know, I guess it, like, I guess it kind of reminds me of that, like that awkward, yeah, personality clash. Yeah. So I really like how I did the daughter's room too, um, which is what I'm working on right now. I kind of gave it like bright, um, colors and I like I kept the wood floor. I really like that wood floor. That wood floor came with heads. Yes. Yes. I think it did. I think it came with heads. Yeah, it came with heads. So and then I was looking at that wallpaper. I was like, where'd that wallpaper come from? I've never seen that wallpaper before. It's so weird. I like on the Sims 3, if you there's um is it flooring? Or there's like a design that you can pick on the color wheel that is um, like newspaper. So I used to always put that on the floor like for my pets. I don't know. I liked it. But I had never seen that newspaper wallpaper before. I was like, what is this? So her room is very purple, but it's also very bright because she's like creative. And I wanted to like make something that would match her personality, her fun personality. Um, I'm trying to think, you guys, if I have, like, any other stories. Like, I feel like so much has happened. We had such a good time in Atlanta. Um, 
I got to see, like, I learned so much, and I got to spend time, like, with some of my good friends, and get to know some other people. It was, it was fun. It really was. It was great. I enjoyed it. Um, I've never been to Atlanta before, so like I said, I live in Ohio, and I think it was, like, a 16-hour drive. I'm not sure. That was probably the worst part of the trip, is just a drive. Um, but everything else was, was fantastic. Like, we had a great time. We went through, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's, like, in North Carolina, I think. North Carolina. Um, and then we went through, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the names of it. I can't remember the names that we went through, but anyways, there was, like, this river that, like, went through the whole city, and then, like, the city had, like, bear statues everywhere. Where is that? If you know where that is, comment below and let me know, because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But, um, actually, one of our elder women in our church, like, we put her on this bear statue and took pictures, and it's just funny because... She has, like, a really quiet personality, and so the fact that she, like, came out of her shell and was sitting on a bear statue, where is it? Oh my goodness, that's going to drive me crazy now. I don't remember. But, yeah, it was a fun time. It really was. So right here, I am doing the father's bedroom, and I saw that bed color, and I don't think I've ever used it before, so I decided to go with, like, a blue room, and then I think later... I changed it almost to like a greenish color instead of the blue because I felt like it still matched the bed. And then I actually, yeah, so I changed that around because it was like taking up too much space. I don't know. I also did the landscaping right here and something that I've been kind of challenging myself to do is landscaping in The Sims because I can't landscape very well in The Sims. So I think I'm actually going to do a pump build too in New Press. Um, yeah, I am really bad at landscaping in The Sims 4. In The Sims 3, I was fantastic. Like, I could make an awesome garden, an awesome flower bed. But in The Sims 4, I just feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like it doesn't go or something. Like, it, nothing, like, goes together. But yeah, I've seen other people do really, really neat things. So, I don't know. I think it's just me. I wanted to, like, challenge myself to get better at working out on landscaping in The Sims. Um... Yeah, so I've seen people do some pretty amazing things with it. Oh, and you guys, like, I, okay, so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, we're, like, I was playing that legacy challenge, and I started to make a house. Because you know how you, like, you start out, and then you, like, start getting money, and you start building a house, but then you have to, like, add on to the house. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? Just keep adding on to a house and like it's not going to look, and, and it's not going to look like how I want it to look. And I don't want to keep deleting the house and like rebuilding it and stuff. So I decided to make this show of a mansion. And when they have enough money to purchase it, like purchase just a shell of the mansion with like the garden and like outside and everything. Um, and then furnish the room one by one. So I am going to like get a tour of, of that mansion because I do have it almost done. I'm so excited for it. So, so excited for it. Um, yeah, it's huge and it's fantastic and I love it. Like I'm so excited. I almost, it's, I don't remember how many simoleons it is. It is going to be a little bit expensive. So, you know, I don't know how long it'll take to like purchase the house when you're doing the legacy, but I mean, I think probably, like, probably you're going to be able to purchase it with your, you know, your first founder, so I don't know. It, I guess it just depends on, like, how you spend your simoleons, but I'm really excited for it, and yeah, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Oh, so we also had... Oh my gosh, so like our neighbors, like our, we had like fight with the people across the street all the time over this like crazy parking spot, okay? And they got into like a physical fight and the police came out and like I was just like sitting outside watching it because it was so interesting. Like my eyes were like, like I was just like, I was being so nosy. But like the other neighbors were too, they brought out lawn chairs. Like our other neighbors brought out lawn chairs because we live in, we live in the ghetto, okay? So 
Yeah. Like our other neighbors brought out lunchers and we were watching them and the guy was like fighting with the, the police officer and the police officer chased him and it was probably like the most satisfying thing in my life ever because the guy is, the guy is a really big jerk honestly so I don't know like I felt a little bit satisfied that he was changed and taken to jail and like they took their wife to jail it was crazy like all because our neighbors are like parking in the street like across from our house because their backyard floods. So like you called the cops and got into a physical fight over a parking spot. Over like that's where I live guys. That's like like that's where I live. This is what these are the things that go go on in my life. These are the things that go on in my neighborhood. So I don't know, like I don't want to say that I live in the ghetto. I guess I just live in like the older part of town that like in our town everybody considers like the bad area I guess but it's really not that terrible um for the most part like our street's pretty quiet and generally speaking I mean we live close to a school so there's like no creepers or anything which is good but like overall I don't know like it's it's pretty quiet we just you know you get those people every once in a while I think it, every neighborhood has those so yeah that was that's a thing that happened and I was like outside just like watching them like oh I'm just gonna sit on my porch and I was being pretty nosy but I mean at least I didn't get like lawn chairs when I just sit outside but yeah I was sitting on my porch like making it look like I was like busy like I was just enjoying the night thought I was really being nosy so yeah we are coming up to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this renovation. I hope to get more up and um, yeah, hopefully I will be putting up another build tomorrow. So make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button, like my video and let me know what you think of it. So I will um, hopefully see you all later. Goodbye loves.